Last week, Supercell announced that they are ending the development of Clash Mini and they are shutting the servers down. Now, they do have some plans for migrating the gameplay to Clash Royale someday in the future, but we don't know what that's going to look like. Now, if you did spend money on the game, you can have your purchases transferred to another global Supercell game. I'll drop an announcement post in the link in the description below so that you have instructions on how to do that if you guys are seeing this for the first time and haven't done it yet. I assume that most people watching this already have heard the news since it's taken me a while to make this video. I'm sorry. Sorry it's taken so long. Honestly, the announcement drops just just happened to be a particularly bad time for me to be able to film a video on it. I was out of town and I, 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 you know what, honestly, I've been going through the five stages of grief since then. The denial, very real. Honestly, I'm still pretty angry. In fact, I think some of that will actually come through in this video. I'm, if you're, if Clash Mini developers out there, I, I promise the anger is not directed towards you, uh, but there is some anger. <laughs> um, it seems like everybody is bargaining over the game to be saved and we're all a little depressed. And if I'm being honest with myself, I probably still have not fully accepted this. Those are the five stages of grief, in case anybody wasn't aware of that. Honestly, this sucks. It, it sucks. I really love Clash Mini. I... I really love it. I've spent a lot of time and money playing the game. I've also spent a lot of time and money creating content for the game. In fact, I've actually lost a lot of money because the viewership just wasn't there for this game because it didn't have a global audience. Not only does it cost me money to pay my editor to make the, these videos, but also every hour that I spend making a video on Clash Mini, like I spent like seven or eight hours today working on this script today. And I, that's seven or eight hours I could have spent making Brawl Stars content where I know I will make money doing that. Clearly, I have a big passion for the game. I love it. And uh, yeah, it just sucks. And I'm not saying that I'm not salty about the time and money that I've lost on Clash Mini. I sacrificed that time and money on the game because I genuinely love the game and I believed that it eventually would release globally. I genuinely thought that. I felt it from the heart. It's because the game's so great for me personally. I love it and I understand that not everybody feels that way, but I genuinely love the game. Clash Mini was by far my favorite auto battler game and that's coming from somebody who has played a lot of auto chess and auto battlers like it. I also think that it had like a lot of legitimate strategy, way less RNG, especially after they removed movement from the game. Games were quick and immediately exciting, like there was not hardly any downtime with Clash Mini. And even if I didn't love the gotcha progression system in the most recent update, gameplay wise, the core gameplay loop was just, it's just like, mm, chef's kiss is amazing. But uh, it's too late. They're killing the game. And uh, rather than talk about all the reasons why I love Clash Mini, I want to talk about what led to the, the downfall of Clash Mini. And I'm going to talk a bit about what I think Supercell, I think the same thing needs to change for Supercell to release a new global game. I, I really do. I think that they're not going to release another global game. I At this point, I'm like afraid it's never going to happen. So I'm going to share some ideas. If there are any developers at Supercell watching this, please recognize the fact that like, you know what? I'm not a game developer. I'm not going to pretend to be able to have all the answers. I'm just going to share all my thoughts and opinions as somebody who is very devoted to the Supercell economy or community and as a content creator who I feel like has a little bit more perspective as to what makes a game good and not and... <sighs> What's required for going to go global? Perhaps some experienced game developers listening will think that I'm naive or ignorant, and I just hope that you can understand why I think the Clash Mini being killed was a mistake, even if it didn't achieve Supercell's extremely high standards. Okay, um, there's a lot in this video regarding Supercell's and Supercell's culture and why Supercell has led to the downfall and the deletion of Clash Mini, but let's start with what I'm gonna call the one big mistake that the Clash Mini team made. In my opinion, Clash Mini was released to beta too soon. When Clash Mini was first released into beta, there were a lot of major issues with it. And you know what? Not everybody was like me and could look past some of those issues to recognize that the core gameplay of the game was genuinely good. Monetization didn't feel great. Progression didn't feel great. And while the gameplay did feel good to those who understood that you could upgrade minis in whichever order you wanted to, the game did almost nothing to show how much depth the game actually had. And you know what? I'll admit, 
while I did like the core gameplay and felt like the game did a very little to uh, show people how good the gameplay could be, it was even further improved later on when they made it so that you could no longer move minis, okay? But the point is, when Clash Mini was first released, it felt very unfinished, aside from its amazing artwork. <laughs> the artwork was great. The team didn't even have a meta designer on it, and honestly, it showed. And I shared a lot of feedback back then was what the game needed in order to improve. And they definitely did a good job at, at uh, implementing those things. But the problem is, ah, I could have given that feedback before the game was in beta. You didn't have to, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm getting a little upset. Did I mention I was a little angry? <laughs> I'm a little upset. Okay, now let's talk about what a, a meta designer is because I just said that the game didn't even have a meta designer and it showed, right? Gamers, often when we say the word meta, we're referring to the strongest and best strategies currently in the game. But meta development or meta in-game de design actually refers to like the feedback and reward system often associated with progression. It's the progression system. It's essentially how you upgrade your troops and play the game when you're not actually playing the core game, right? And the thing is, is that Clash Mini's meta progression system on release, I mean, it was just bad in my opinion. I'm gonna paraphrase basically what I said was, yeah, I don't know that I like this. I don't think that I do. I'm gonna give it a fair chance. And then after I gave it a chance, I told them, yep, yeah, I don't like it. Please change it, get rid of it. It's as, you know, anyway, and that's what happened. Anyway, here's the deal. People will very rarely give a game a second chance if it disappoints them the first time they play it. And I mean, I certainly don't. Why would you guys, right? If you play a game that has poor monetization, an unfinished progression system, and it initially feels like it's lacking strategic depth, all you have to do is just go to another game that has those things nailed down. There are so many fun games out there that are already great, that have good progression system, good core gameplay mechanics, that have a lot of depth, and also that are reasonably monetized, right? And that's the thing is that this really hurt Clash Mini very early on, because like as somebody who immediately felt in love with the game despite the fact that it was unfinished you know how people say that first impressions matter well that's basically what happened is that clash mini lost the first impression and people weren't willing to give it another impression and as somebody who did immediately fall in love with the game despite the fact that it was unfinished i had a ton of supercell creators strike up conversations with me about the game almost every single time they would voice their concerns with the game and i would tell them hey that concern that you have it's fixed it's no longer an issue they've improved it and yet out of the 20 20 or 30 supercell creators that I spoke to about the game, only like one that I can remember, maybe two, maybe three of them were willing to give the game a second chance. And these are people that are the most dedicated to Supercell and uh, have the most to gain from it. They have a chance to actually make an, a second, another living by creating Clash Mini content. They weren't even willing to give it a second chance because their first impression just wasn't good. And I say that this was Clash Mini team's like only really big mistake because this was the one thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video that was within their control. If they had nailed down progression, nailed down monetization, and had improved gameplay before launching the game into beta, I just can't help but feel like we would be having a different conversation right now because way more people would be involved with it, way more people would share it, way more people would just just like initially get dedicated to it. Like it, it just sucks because people aren't gonna give that second uh, look at it. They're just not, unless the game went global, but that's not happening, so. Yeah. In fact, at launch, Clash Mini broke the record for Supercell games reaching 1 million downloads. They had reached 1 million downloads in three days while it took the second place game, Supercell history, it took 11 days, right? Like people were very interested in Clash Mini, but the game wasn't ready and it took too long for them to improve things. And people just weren't interested in giving the game a second chance. And that really sucks because the developers have done a great job at improving every aspect of the game in the two years that it's been in beta, but people aren't coming back. It's too late. It's that's just that it's just too late in the future. I hope that Supercell as a company does a better job about making sure that before they release a game to beta, that they have the core aspects of the game finished. The core gameplay loop has to be fun. It has to be replayable. The meta or progression system needs to feel good. They have to have a solid plan for monetization that actually makes sense. That isn't going to make people just straight up upset. These are <laughs> the hard thing with this is that that's really difficult to know without releasing the game into beta. 
like, yeah, even if everybody at Supercell or the content creators say, hey, yeah, I really like this game, you should release it. Like, that's not a whole lot of data compared to the millions of people that could potentially be playing the game. So, I don't know, but that's a problem that Supercell has to figure out a solution for. The point is, they need to just, like, have a game more ready before, and uh, it's, uh, I know that's more, more money that they have to, like, put towards the game, but we need something more finished. We just do, because otherwise, people aren't going to give the beta games the, the light of the day anymore, because <laughs> guess what? <laughs> we don't trust Supercell anymore to release a global game. We don't, which I'll talk about that later. Let's talk about the second big reason why Clash Mini is getting killed, and that is Supercell's ridiculously high standards for games to launch globally. Now, if you look up Supercell's mission statement right now, here's what you'll find. Our dream is to create great games that as many people as possible play for years and that are remembered forever. Those are four aspects, okay? Making a great game is number one, and I would say that Clash Mini is a great game. At least the gameplay is now, right? The second one, you know, uh, that will be remembered forever. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I'm personally going to remember Clash Mini forever. The third requirement is that people will play for years. And Clash Mini still needed some improvements for this to be the case. And I'll admit that the game might not reach the criteria for Supercell's high standards when it comes to being a game that people will play for years. But it is the fourth core that I want to focus on, okay? And that is that as many people as possible possible will play. And this, this right here is Clash Mini's big failing point. There is no way Clash Mini was ever going to reach this goal because guess what? As many people as possible will play? That's so vague and unrealistic. Like, like none of Supercell's current games are even reaching that. As many people as possible? It's insane. It's insane. And interestingly enough, this didn't actually used to be a part of Supercell's full mission statement. Sometime over the years, they actually added this one core belief to their mission statement. And I don't know exactly when, and you know what? I, I tried to find it on a, a previous website, but I do specifically remember hearing that the first time and thinking, wait a second, they added that. I, it, it happened sometime four or five years ago or something like that. The thing is though, is that this is incredibly ambitious and means that unless they change their core beliefs, Supercell is unwilling to launch a game globally unless it becomes a smash hit. And we don't know exactly what their criteria is for as many people as possible, but I think it's safe to say that they want the game to be able to hit the top 10 charts. And that's, that's cool, but just unrealistic. Maybe even top 10 isn't realistic. Maybe top 100. You know what other Supercell games are written with the one, the top 100 charts? None of them. At least not according to Google Play on uh, top free games for on, on Android in the United States, at least right now. Not a single one of them is within the top 100. So what is like... How do you make a game that is going to be played by as many people as possible? The truth is, is that you, you just can't. You, you like, it's, it's unrealistic. It's never going to happen. Like, actually. Okay, maybe not actually. Like, maybe it's, it's going to happen to some developers. But, like, you get where I'm coming from here, right? I think this is going to hold Supercell back in the long run. The truth is, is that if their goal was to make a game that everyone could be interested in, Clash Mini could never have gone global. So Clash Mini is primarily an auto-battler game. And the auto-battler genre just doesn't have enough interest to warrant the top 100 and it sucks because I love Clash Mini and I think it was by far my favorite auto battler for so many reasons but not everyone likes auto battlers so despite the fact that Clash Mini checks three maybe even two and a half of the four criteria it's getting killed because it doesn't have a wide enough appeal now I believe this to be a big mistake let's just ignore Clash Mini for a second and talk about how ridiculous this requirement is nobody enjoys every kind of game there is. Not everyone enjoys tower defense games. Does that mean that Supercell's never gonna successfully release a tower defense game? Not everybody enjoys survival games. So I guess we're never getting a Supercell survival game, right? The same could be said for every single other gaming genre. Not everyone likes RPGs or roguelikes or roguelites, which I know that sounded like the same. Roguelike and roguelite are slightly different kinds of games, right? Sandbox games is another genre that not everyone likes to play. Match three games have been proven to be incredible Incredibly popular, yet Supercell killed Heyday Pop and Clash Quest because it didn't reach their current market. Then you have casual farming genre, which is why Everdale got ki killed, right? Clash of Clans is already arguably the most popular base building game ever, and it would be way too hard to compete with that, so I guess Supercell is doomed to never be able to release another base 
builder game. After all, Rush Wars didn't make it, and Boom Beach is hardly called alive, right? Like, yeah. Uh, Brawl Stars is has the MOBA genre covered, so I doubt Supercell could possibly release another MOBA, especially because it's unlikely that a second game would also be able to compete with League of Legends or Mobile Legends Bang Bang or Brawl Stars. This basically gives Supercell no hope to ever be able to release another global game, no matter how good the game is. Not everyone can stomach how grindy an MMORPG is, so I guess MoCo doesn't have a shot. I think it's fair to say that the shooter genre has been shot to death by how much competition there is, and I doubt that Clash Heroes is ever going to be able to go global, since not everyone enjoys dungeon crawlers or whatever kind of gameplay that was. I know. This is sounding incredibly sarcastic and uh, ignorant, I don't know, whatever. But I think you can see where I'm coming from here. Does Supercell really think they're going to create a unique game that com is completely original, that everyone on the planet is going to be interested in, or is going to be guaranteed to reach global number one charts? Like, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I would much rather that they just focus on making amazing games. And I'm not even saying that Clash Mini is it. I'm not even saying that. According to the developers, the game just didn't have the numbers. But couldn't Supercell just like be proud of making the best auto battler that they could and let the players who enjoy auto battlers play it and like take over that market? As long as the game is still making money, like, I, I don't know. I. Yeah, yeah, you get where I'm coming from here. I understand that they don't want to launch a game that doesn't live up to the Supercell name, but I don't think that every Supercell game needs to be a top 10 or even top 100. The competition is just much harder now than when Supercell first re released Clash of Clans and there was no games that people would play for years. <laughs> like, the competition was Fruit Ninja, which, okay, people still play Fruit Ninja. In fact, I think it might still be in the top 100 charts. But you get where I'm coming from here, right? It's even harder, even since Clash of Clans was released. It's even more difficult to do so now when Brawl Stars launched. In fact, Brawl Stars was almost killed. They almost got rid of it. In fact, they did at one point make the decision to kill the game and then came back later and then came up with a plan to release it. Okay, let's talk about Brawl Stars now. Brawl Stars right now is achieving more growth than it ever has in the history of Brawl Stars being released. And it's five years old. Five years old it's been in development and now they're achieving the best growth ever? Like, who's to say that couldn't happen for Clash Mini way down in the root line? You know, it just, it just sucks because Clash Mini is, in my opinion, the best auto battler I've played and uh, certainly made for mobile in a great way. And it just sucks because I like it. I, I really like it. Sorry for being angry. <laughs> I hope you don't feel like I'm yelling at you, even though I'm yelling at you. <laughs> Let's move on to the next issue, okay? And the sucky thing about this is that this has absolutely nothing to do with the Clash Mini developer team this next issue does. This issue is the fact that people are losing faith in Supercell's ability to release a new global game. Since Brawl Stars was launched, Supercell has put six games into beta and then killed those games. That is including Clash Mini here. That is more games than global Supercell games. And chances are Supercell's going to kill the next one too. I don't want that to happen, but if you were to make a bet on it, you'd probably make a safe bet to bet on the game getting killed. And I'm not the only person who doesn't want to waste my time with another game that gets killed. I didn't even bother downloading to Everdale because I assumed it would get killed after watching 10 seconds of gameplay. Didn't seem to appeal to me. So you know what? Not for me, not downloading it, not gonna waste my time. I didn't even make a single video about it. And there's a reason why I didn't make a video on Flood Rush. The truth is, people are less willing to put their time into every new Supercell beta because every single time one gets killed, it's less likely that your time and dedication is going to be like validated, right? And that sucks for the Clash Bandit team because they're from a completely different office in the Helsinki office. This has nothing to do with them. As far as I know, all the people working on Clash Mini have never worked on another Supercell game before. Maybe that's true, maybe that's not, I don't know. But gosh, I, I just can't help but feel like the game had poor reception because of games that were killed before it. After all, who's going to want to devote their time and money into a game that might get killed, let alone try to get their friends to do so? Like, yeah, of course Clash Mini wasn't getting any new daily active users. Their people thought the game was gonna get, like, 
what, what do you expect? Everybody was pretty much just waiting for the game to go global, and then it's like, okay, now, now I'll try it out. Look, I don't have enough data to truly know whether or not Supercell should have launched Clash Mini globally. I don't know what would have happened. I can't tell the future, but the truth is people want to be a part of something big, and I can't help but feel like launching it globally would have led to people actually taking it seriously. I understand the repercussions of releasing a global game and then for it to not have great reception and end up being like a boom beach or a heyday. You know, I, I understand that to all you Supercell developers out there, but you can see where I'm coming from, right? Selflessly, I just wish that they would have announced global after some progression changes to gotcha because that's like really the progression system. That's really all that the game needed to be improved for it to like reach my standards, in my opinion. Like, yeah, perhaps Clash Mini wouldn't have been a top 10, not maybe not even a top 100, but there would have been a lot of hype around the game because it is a good game. And like I said, it's my favorite auto battler game. And I think the developers should be really proud of what they've accomplished, okay? And there is there is some good news here, and that is the fact that they are planning on adding gameplay to Clash Royale in some way in the future. Um, I don't know about you guys, like I love Clash Mini. I don't love Clash Royale. I lost my taste for Clash Royale a long time ago, and I, I genuinely think the game deserved its own dedicated team to further develop it, and I would have played it. And that's, that's why I'm personally upset. I say selfishly because Maybe it would have happened at the expense of Supercell's reputation, and that sucks, but I would have enjoyed it. I would have played it. I would have had fun with it. At this point, though, I, it's, it's too, I think it's too late. I, I do. They already made the announcement. They're already doing refunds. Like, yeah, it would be cool if, like, a year from now they came back and fixed everything and then, like, just launched it globally. That would be cool that they changed their mind. But, uh, yeah, I just feel like the game didn't get the chance it deserved. But I have come to accept this at the end. <laughs> I really hope that Supercell learns from the downfall of Clash Mini. Honestly, I want Supercell to just fully commit to a game. Like, before launching it into beta, I want them to nail down gameplay, nail down meta progression, have monetization plan that makes sense, be prepared to be able to release content, and then test it with a short beta to make sure the retention and interest is still there. But then I just want them to freaking launch it. Like, don't compare yourself to Clash of Clans and Clash Royale and Brawl Stars. Just put everything you've got into making the best game you can and run with it. After all, how can Supercell expect players to commit to their game and share it with their friends if Supercell themselves aren't willing to commit? They've just got their toes in the water. They're testing out all these things. They're, they've wasted so much time. I've wasted so much time playing games that I thought might go global and then, you know, well, actually, I, I thought every single one of them were going to get killed until Clash Mini. But I still created content on it and I still devoted time to it. And I'm I'm ready to like I want something to release. I want something. Eh, not not anything. I want Clash Mini to release and I want Moco to release. Those are the two games that I'm really holding out for. Squad Busters, we'll have to see what they do. But yeah, I don't know. There is a silver lining in all of this news, and that is that the developers of Clash Mini will now be able to work on other games that will hopefully reach a global audience. Okay, that's everything I feel led to Clash Mini's downfall. Now I wanted to address the any Clash Mini developers who are still watching this before I address the community. I really just want to thank you for your hard work and your devotion into the game. I, I really am sorry that not everyone saw the vision that you had, and I am really sorry that not everybody else cared as much i i genuinely love the game and if nothing else you should be proud of making my favorite auto battler so i hope at least you're able to look forward that this is not a complete failure you've you've learned so much over the past few years clash mini who knows maybe clash mini their downfall is everything that the developers need to make the next big game and maybe it will be a game that as many people as possible will play <laughs> maybe either way Whatever game you guys decide to develop, to develop next, I really hope that I get to be there to play them. Now to everybody else who is watching this video. Thank you so much for your support throughout this whole journey. Thank you for watching the content creators uh, that are also making content for Clash Mini that have made way more videos and content than I have. I, I think out of everybody, I mostly feel the worst for them because I, I like to think about like what would have happened with Brawl Stars if they decided to, to cut the game. I would not be here. I was not at a point in my life. I had all of my marbles in Cla in Brawl Stars, and if they decided to kill the game instead of release it globally, I, I genuinely would not have continued creating content. I don't think that I would have. I, it was not a good phase of my life for me to be able to keep doing that. And like, it sucks because there are Clash Mini content creators that 
could have made a full time making content and they didn't get the opportunity with Clash Mini and I wouldn't blame them if they didn't feel like they could put their heart and soul into another Clash or into another Supercell game. I wouldn't blame them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this channel. I know I didn't make the most content in the game. I honestly just couldn't justify the time and expense to do so since the game didn't have a global audience, but I really did enjoy the time we had together. As for what will happen to this channel, I think I'm just gonna leave it here as a memory of what we had. Perhaps I will create some Clash Mini content once the game gets ported to Clash Royale. I don't know if I will, I, I, I probably won't do that. I think I'll just leave that to the Clash Royale creators. Like, I genuinely love the game, but I, I don't know. Uh, I, <laughs> my opinions on Clash Royale for another discussion, I guess. For those of you who did reach the very end of this video, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please use hashtag Kairos Forever so that I know that you watched this far and use hashtag Save Clash Mini if you are somehow still hoping for the game to be saved in some way. I mean, I guess we will have it in Clash Royale. It just sucks. Anyway, sorry for being such a downer in this video. The, the topic of this video is a downer. I, sorry for yelling too. <laughs> I would say I'll see you guys in the next video, but I don't know. You can subscribe to my Brawl Stars channel. I'm still making content over there. <laughs> see you guys.